Welcome again to the safety meeting. Today's topic is cement and concrete burns. Cement powder is all about chemical reactions. Chemical reaction starts when cement and water are mixed. When this mixture, which is cement and water is concrete, when this mixture comes in contact with the skin, it produces an alkaline that can break the skin tissues down. Burns tend to be slow to appear and get worse over time. The longer it stays on the skin, the worse it becomes. Burns start out as dry skin. Then they turn red with itching and pain. Later, blisters, scabbing may appear. The treatment for a cement burn is first remove any jewelry or protective gear or any clothes that are soaked in concrete. Uh, next, brush off any concrete on your skin and then flush the skin with lukewarm water for about 20 minutes. OSHA recommends applying a diluted vinegar. Now, vinegar is acidic too, but it will neutralize. Or another acidic substance like uh, citrus juice. And this helps with the neutralization of the burn to prevent any further damage. Avoid applying any creams or lotions. Uh, that, that will just cover it. It does no good. It feels like your skin's dry, but an acidic like vinegar or citrus juice will be much better. Then what you do is you watch for any infection that may appear. An infection is very painful uh, around the wound. It's really red around the outside of the wound as it first appears. And if you see any infection develop, then you need to consult a doctor. The best way to prevent burns and so forth is to wear protective clothing. For instance, rubber gloves. Because cloth gloves, the, the cement, concrete can saturate them. And another typical thing is when it gets in your shoes or in your boots and uh, it comes in contact with your skin there. Uh, otherwise, it can be avoided. If you get it on you, what I tend to do is I let it dry, or if I've got water right there, I'll just hose it off with water. Usually does the trick. So keep up safe out there, and uh, we'll talk to you later.